The fourth dyad contradicts everything about the sixth. I have nothing against retcons. Retcons in a lot of cases can be good, but the retcon created cannot create an inconsistency. J.J. Abrams introduced the Force Dyad into the Rise of Skywalker. This created many contradictions. When you break it down, it doesn't make any sense. One, Snoke Bridge ran Kylo's mind in The Last Jedi. It was essential to the plot of The Last Jedi. Snoke bridged their minds so he could set a trap for Rey. It worked. She fell for the bait. Snoke wasn't high or anything. He made a plan and executed the plan. The Force Diet suggests Snoke was just a puppet clone, tweaking on crystal meth. The Force Diet suggests Rey and Kylo's minds were always linked. This isn't true. Furthermore, the Force Diet changes everything we know about the Rule of Two. The Rule of Two was already established. It allowed the Sith to conceal themselves from the Jedi. It involved a Master and an Apprentice. The Apprentice would always be looking to take out the Master, the master would always be looking for a stronger apprentice. This strategy has many flaws, but it was highly effective in taking out the Jedi. The rule of two has been around for years. As far as I'm concerned, it can't be changed. The Force Diet has retconned the rule of two completely. This retcon states that the whole purpose of the rule of two was to create a fucking Force Diet. If this could not be done, one of the two were killed, and someone new took the open spot, and then they would try again, the cycle would repeat itself. This essentially changes everything about the Sith. The Sith are very selfish and power-hungry. It is not in their nature for a master to form a dyad with their apprentice and share power. Taking this Force Dyad retcon further, when a Sith is killed, their spirit lives on in the living Sith. So all the Sith live inside of Palpatine. The Sith don't want to work together, period. They certainly would not want to live inside a host body as a spirit. There was nothing wrong with the Rule of Two. It was actually brilliant and a great part of Star Wars history. J.J. Abrams in the non-canon sequel trilogy has changed all that. Now the Rule of Two is as bad as the shit I took this morning. This dyad crap is even infecting the ending of Return of the Jedi. It states that Palpatine wanted Luke to kill him so he could pass his spirit into Luke. I can guarantee that's not what George Lucas had in mind in 1983. Palpatine wanted to replace old-ass Vader with Luke. Palpatine purposely tried to get Luke angry, so he turned to the dark side. Palpatine knew Vader was a total cuck and would not let Luke strike him down while he's sitting in his chair. The Force Diet is bullshit. It completely contradicts everything about the Sith. The more you break down how bad Disney Star Wars is, it really just becomes a poorly written fan fiction. I consider it non-canon. I think every Star Wars fan should too. Hashtag retcon the sequel trilogy. The Knights of Melvin need you. Give in to your anger. Embrace the hate. Embrace the dark side. Become a knight and subscribe to the channel. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural.